Weather with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News. I'll step out of the way here and show you a beautiful sunset in the western UP tonight. Cleared out just in time at Sandra Updike's place in Tamarack, at Tamarack Lake. What an awesome photo there of just enough clearing for a beautiful sunset. Thank you, Sandra, for sending that in. And William Beavers, Ishbaming, some winter visitors, as he said on our 906 Weather Watchers page. You can see on the right-hand corner of your screen a deer, and then on the left-hand corner of the screen there another deer as well tracking through the snow. Thank you, William, for posting that to our 906 Weather Watchers page. And then we got Marianne Bowers Taylor of NEMA. The snow for a lot of us hit the ground and melted like it did here in the Marquette area. But South Central UP, Eastern Delta County, the snow added up pretty good. And you can see the snow adding up there in the yard of Marianne Bowers Taylor. NEMA, thank you for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, it's simple. Head on over to Facebook. Becca and I, Brianna and I, Audrey would love to show off your weather photos during WJMN Local 3 News and also on UPMatters.com. Cold tonight, some lake effect snow may get going near the Lake Superior shoreline, especially in the snow belts east of Marquette. Some of that continues into the daytime on Saturday, especially for the first half up until lunchtime. Otherwise, we're quiet on Saturday and we may even see more sunshine, but by the late weekend, we're looking at snow moving on in. So there's your lake effect snow showers tonight in to the first part of Saturday. Otherwise, we'll get clearing. We'll get some sunshine tomorrow night. It may turn cold with some clearing skies early and some light winds, but by Sunday morning, the clouds pick up the pace and then here comes your snow Sunday night on into Monday. This could be heavier snow and may lead to some difficult driving, but as we get to lunchtime, milder air starts to work on in and I think by late Monday afternoon, Monday night, the milder air is in all of upper Michigan and we're going to switch it on over to rain. Snowfall amounts between now and and mid to late Saturday morning, really not talking much in the snow belts east of Marquette, but watch what happens Sunday night. Notice the numbers central and western UP start to add on up. And before we switch it over to rain, we may tack on another inch or two as we get into Monday late morning and early afternoon. Our community forecast looks like this. We're going to see temperatures tonight in the lower teens for the Copper Country, including 11 for Houghton. And then we'll see temperatures tomorrow in the 20s to perhaps around 34 Barraga. For the interior west, 9 tonight for Ironwood, 27 though for your Saturday. And then some interior west spots may fall into the single digits, but high temperatures tomorrow right around 30, even 32 for Iron Mountain. For the south central UP, for Escanaba tonight, 16 31 for a Saturday daytime highs and then you can see 14 for rock tonight bouncing back to 30 Saturday afternoon and then for Manistique tonight 16 29 for a daytime high for Saturday afternoon for Newberry in the eastern UP 15 tonight 27 for a Saturday afternoon temperature and then as we move you into Alger County Munising tonight 19 right around 20 for Grand Marais chilly for Saturday with some snow showers continuing especially for the first part of the day with highs in the 20s for Gwynn tonight 12 bouncing back to 27 for your Saturday afternoon and then for the higher terrain west of Marquette we'll see lows around 12 for Ishpeming and Nagani 10 for Republic later tonight and then 11 for Michigami highs will be in the 20s city of Marquette looks like this low temperatures later on tonight into early Saturday morning will be around 17 and then for your daytime on Saturday we're looking at 24 looking at the upper right hand corner of your screen 34 for Sunday with some snow late in the day that snow could be a little bit heavier on Sunday night into Monday morning Morning and then Monday, milder air is in here, and any wintry precipitation looks to go to rain. We'll see the rain continue perhaps Monday night on into Tuesday morning, and then colder air comes back on Tuesday late afternoon into Tuesday evening. 